What's going on everyone? I am the Kilted Cajun. Welcome back to my channel. And one thing I will never understand in my time paying closer and closer attention to the goings on behind the scenes, social medias, and interviews and all these other things is why on earth can't we have more people like, I don't know, Brad Pitt and Denzel Washington who don't go on these interview sprees and run their mouths over and over with one opinion after another because they feel the need to put it out there. You can't just shut your mouth, ask people to come watch your movie, come watch my show, judge it for yourself. No, you have to run your mouth in an interview, speak your mind on Twitter, which is the worst possible place to speak your mind. Today, we have this article from Bounding Into Comics. Last of Us actress Bella Ramsey tells critics to, quote, get used to acts of grave depravity that are and will be heavily pushed in the show. Really? Let's see what this lovely article has to say. Last of Us actress Bella Ramsey recently told viewers to avoid watching the show if they're not comfortable with viewing sinful acts of grave depravity. I'm pretty sure she's talking about same-sex stuff. Why would you say that? The Last of Us on HBO is being very well received right now. The ratings are going up every single episode. And when you come out and say something so stupid, it's going to affect the viewers. Because regardless if somebody likes the show or not, or whether they agree with episode 3 or not, or have opinions on it, because everybody's got one, and they're all different. They all stink, even mine. You come out and you say this, and you just turn people off of the show when you run your mouth like this. Ramsey spoke to GQ magazine, oh, of course, where she revealed the show will feature a plethora of acts, acts of grave depravity going forward. You like that word, don't you? She told the outlet, quote, I know people will think what they want to think, but they're going to have to get used to it. They're going to have to get used to it. If you don't want to watch the show because it has gay storylines, look, anybody who's played the game knows that Ellie is gay. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. Everybody who played the game knew Frank was gay. Nobody cared. Not Frank. Bill. They went more in-depth and changed the story for Bill and Frank. I thought it did a wonderful job. I believe that it added to the story. It helped give Joel a sense of perspective. A lot of people, I know, hell, a lot of the channels I follow weekly, daily almost, disagree. Some of them agree. So, hey, everybody looks is looking at it differently. But, anyway, if you don't want to watch the show because it has a gay storyline, ooh, because it has a trans character, ooh, nobody cares. It just they had opinions, whatever. And you're that's on you, and you're missing out. It isn't gonna make me afraid. What? What does that even mean? I think that comes from a place of defiance. What the? F what does that even mean? Ramsey's comments come after the show's third episode debuted and was heavily criticized. Yep, because people had opinions because they have opinions on the state of Hollywood today and the constant messaging and the virtue signaling and the checkboxes that are coming out in our entertainment every single time I turn around. And they have opinions on Neil Druckmann and Naughty Dog. So they judged it based on those biases. That's just it. YouTuber Synthetic Man, oh, I don't, don't bring up Synthetic Man. He is such a fucking idiot. Oh, describe the episode as Brokeback Mountain. The closest thing, let's see, they kissed and they made it look like Frank was about to give Bill a blow job. He explained, quote, We got 15 minutes of two middle-aged gay dudes falling in love and there's an extended kiss scene. Okay, ooh. Does that upset your delicate sensibilities, synthetic man? And they even get married. It's just the weirdest, bizarre, out-of-left-field shit that is completely irrelevant to the overall plot. It was a small snippet at the end of a story to show two characters who somehow managed to, you know, the part that they managed to make it 20 years without being 
overrun by Raiders. I disagreed with that. I had a problem with that. But it was what it was. It was a way to show, I guess, show personality in the characters and pass that on to Joel to, I guess, showcase what he felt was his failure and to give him a little bit of extra drive with the letter from Bill in the end. You know, God help anyone that gets in our way. But, article continues. As for Ramsey's claim that you are missing out, it's clearly not anything good that you are missing out on. You are actively avoiding sin and the proliferation of it. Ooh. Really? We're going to bring... We're going to bring catechism in here? Okay, no. <laughs> I'll go ahead and read it. Catechism of the Catholic Church notes, quote, basing itself on sacred scripture, which presents homosexual acts as acts of grave depravity. Tradition has always declared that that are intrinsically disordered. I'm skipping this. We're not talking about religion. We're bringing religion into a fucking futuristic horror apocalypse game. Game. TV show. Okay. Ooh. Hey, hold on a second. <laughs> Catechism also asserts that sodomy is one of the sins that cries to heaven. Ooh. Well, I got news for you. If you didn't know, sodomy covers oral sex as well, ladies and gentlemen. So you might want to be careful on that. The cat. Let's see. <laughs> the cata. Catechal? Catechal. Catechal. Whatever. The Catholic tradition. Catechism. Cata- I'm going to say this word. Catechetical. Okay. Tradition also recalls that there are, quote, sins that cried to heaven, the blood of Abel, the sin of the sodomites, the cry of people oppressed in Egypt, the cry of the foreigner, the widow, the orphan, injustice to the wage earner. To reiterate, to reiterate, by avoiding this show, you are actually avoiding sin and the proliferation of it. You are actively re- actively rejecting the evil that the show is trying to perpetuate. So, anyway, if you don't know, sodomy covers anal sex and oral sex. So, if you're going to be against sodomy, ooh, I guess we can cheer. I guess the ladies can start to cheer because their man sucks. Like, oh, it's against God's will. Anyway, watch it. Say, what on earth are we getting into here? Bounding. Who wrote this one? Oh my goodness, John. What are we doing here? St. Pope John Paul II in his message for the 29th World Communications Day was also instructed, as happens with all the media of social communication, the cinema, as well as having the power and the great merit of contributing to the cultural and human growth. I didn't know we were getting into a religious uh, class here. Of religious teachings here. Human growth of the individual can oppress freedom, particularly of the most weak, when it distorts the truth and when it presents itself as the mirror of negative types of behavior using scenes of violence and sex offensive to human dignity and, quote, tending to excite violent emotions to stimulate attention to the viewer. Okay, so he's complaining about gratuitous sex and violence on TV because it's exciting. Well, I guess we are a depraved side of society now. Ah, the attitude of those who irresponsibly bring about degrading imitative behavior whose harmful effects can be read about each day in the pages of the newspapers cannot be defined as free artistic expression. Your definition of artistic expression is different from everyone else's. Mm, sorry. as the Ge- Yeah, look at H.R. Geiger. 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 As the gospel reminds us, only the truth... Only in the truth are we made free. Well, I do believe the Bible also says, Judge not, lest ye be judged yourself. And God is the only person who can judge you freely. It is not our place as humans to judge our fellow man. That, I believe, is not a nice thing to do. What on earth is this whole thing? People grow and diminish. Hmm. So, we got to be very careful when we start passing judgment for us as far as, you know, moralities and everything. Sure, we have societal morals. Why on earth am I getting to this, into the, this sort of discussion? All I wanted to do was talk about the stupidity of making comments like this on social media and in interviews because all you're going to do is turn people off. I'm not trying to get into any sort of morality discussion here because, God forbid, I'm far from qualified. Believe me, if you know me. Anyway, we're going to move on from that. 
Is this kind of statement something that would turn you off from the show, or are you just going to go roll your eyes, scoff like I pretty much did, call Bella Ramsey a moron for running her mouth like this, and keep on watching the show because, God damn it, it's entertaining. I'm loving it. I am thoroughly enjoying the show. So let me know what you think. Is what Bella Ramsey said stupid? Is it going to turn you off from the show? Let me know in the comments. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. Thank you for making it this far. Hope to see you on the next one. Everybody have a good night.